When you stop trying to run and free yourself, you was comfortable being a slave. You was comfortable going to the white man for the one of all things. You was comfortable being his victim. And we're still his victim today. If I asked you what's your nationality, what would you say? What would you put? What would you list on your job application? Other. Other? And who would you That means you wouldn't know where you're from. Uh, they don't have where I am on the What are you? I think they're going to be black, but they're going to be African American. Okay, African American. All right, now check this out. Black is the color of your socks. Right. Yeah. And you ain't the color of your socks. And there's no land of black you can go to. You know, let me, let me show you something. Give me Isaiah 1 and 3. I'm going to show you how real the Bible is. The truth of the matter is, the Bible is a book that everybody has, nobody reads, nobody understands, nobody studies. But they all say they believe it. Am I wrong? Everybody got it in their house. You go to a hotel room, it's in every hotel room. So everybody got the book, everybody say they believe in God, and nobody studies the Bible. Right. You understand? And the truth of the matter is, nobody's teaching the Bible. You go to church for what? To learn about God. Well, the Bible is the book of God. You understand? And the churches doesn't teach you the Bible. So our people walk around ignorant of God. Watch this. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. Read up. So ox knoweth his owner. So ox know his owner. So don't, don't get it twisted. Hey, if I ask every one of these black people that's walking around here what's their true nationality, none of them know. They'll say the same thing you say. Black, Christian, African American, so forth. They have no idea. And the Bible is telling you about his children. He said an ox know his owner. Read. And the ass is master's crib. He said a jackass know where his house is at. So he said an ox know his owner and an ass know his master's crib. So he know his owner is and he know where he come from. But what? But Israel, the children of Israel, which are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, what? Does not know. They don't know where they come from. They don't know they two men, they don't know their job. That's the Bible is speaking of robbery. Now I told you, if you was, uh, if your father was a so-called African American, you would be called a tribal Jew. That's the nation we come from. And to prove that we come from this nation, if I was, you know, you, you, you shouldn't take my word for it. But we took the white man's word for it, and he gave us a lot of different nationalities. He said we was, Negro, nigger, black, colored, Afro-American, African-American. We've been told a lot of different things except the truth. You understand? But the Bible is the one book that has the truth in it. Matter of fact, give me that John 8, 15. John chapter 8 and verse 32. Bring it up. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Think about that. The Bible said we're going to know the truth, and the truth is going to make us free. If we if we're gonna learn the truth, what must we've been taught? A lie. Now let me ask you, do you think the white man taught us lies? Exactly. He taught us lies. Hey sister, how you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Hey, right now, guess what? You just showed up at a great time. Because I'm getting ready to prove that we are the children of Israel. Have you ever heard that before? You have? So you know that you're an Israelite? Yeah. I'll praise you. I'm glad to see that you know you're an Israelite. This brother, he didn't know he's an Israelite, so I'm gonna prove to him right quick. Let me add Deuteronomy 21. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. Do you know the story of Moses? And Moses led his, uh, his people up out of uh, Egypt, out of slavery. Those children that he led out of slavery were the children of Israel. That, that's the, that was his people. These people right here on this sign make up the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. We the lost sheep that don't know who we are. So you know what tribe you come from, sis? No. See right there, if your father's an African American, you know you come from the tribe of Judah. And if your if your uh, children's father, African American, that makes them from the tribe of Judah. You understand? 
So you didn't know that? Oh, oh so you didn't know that. So good, no? Okay, yeah. That's all, but we're going to prove that thing. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So God said, if you do what I say, you hearken to my commandments, I'm going to put you high on this earth. Something you said when you walked up. I know I'm a God on this earth. Well, we were the guys on this earth when we obeyed God. You understand? That's where we get that from. We was the guys on this earth. He put us in rulership, right? But we're not in rulership right now, are we? So something must have happened. He said, if you hearken to me, I'll put you in rulership. And if you don't hearken, let's find out what's going to happen. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses. He said he's going to do what? All these curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. God said if we didn't do what he said, he was going to send curses on us. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? Yeah, I've yeah. never heard of a good curse. <laughs> yeah, sometimes people need, they need that chastising to go. If they didn't get it, then they So, so he said, if you don't obey me, this is God. He said, if you don't obey me, I'm going to send a curse on you. Well, you can't possibly think something good is going to happen to you for disobeying God. Now, he said, hey, a curse is going to be great evil that he was going to send upon us. Right? Jump to verse 46. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. He said these curses that he's going to put upon you going to be upon you for a sign. Like you out here in front of the store. That sign lets you know what store it is. Matthew Jacks. So now he said these curses going to be upon you for a sign. And for a wonder. Uh -huh. And upon thy seed forever. I Meaning they're going to follow your children forever. So nobody else is going to get these curses, right? Only God's children. Only God's people which were the Israelites. So let's find out what some of these curses were. Matter of fact, read the next verse. Verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. He said because we didn't want to serve God with joyfulness and gladness of heart. No different than you've got your children, right? Yo, hey, imagine your oldest son say, you know what? Mama, I don't care what you're saying. I ain't cleaning up that room. I ain't doing what you're talking about. He don't like the food that he eats. He don't like the roof that's over his head. He don't like you taking him to the store, taking him to school. And he, and so when he don't enjoy those benefits, what would mom do? I'd be upset. Uh, what would mom really do? Mom would beat that ass. You tell the truth about it. Mom would beat that ass. And say, look, you're gonna have, you might have to go stay with your dad. Go grab mom. You might have to go. That's what you're going to tell him. Am I wrong? Hey, think about it. God ain't no different. God ain't no different. We're going to find out. Watch this. For the abundance of all things, uh -huh. therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. You say, now you're going to have to go serve your enemies. Same way you say, hey, you don't, want, you don't want my benefits? Guess what? You're going to have to go get them from somewhere else. God said, you don't want to, you don't want to serve me? Now, guess what? Go serve your enemies now. Them enemies that I said you can rule over? Now, guess what? Them enemies going to rule over you. You're going to serve them. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. So the Lord sent our enemies against us. Read. In hunger. So now you have to go to them for food. Because we don't own no food supply. Read. And in thirst. Hey, they control the very water that you want to drink. Like they want them soldiers. Guess what? You had to go to your enemies for them. Read. And in nakedness. The very clothes on your back. Now you got to go to your enemies for that. And in want of all things. You want a marriage license? You want an education? You want a car? You want a driver's license? Hey, you want anything. Toilet paper, toothbrush. Hey, you want weed for your hair. You're going to have to go to your enemies for the want of all things. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. He said he's going to do what? 
put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Did we not have yokes of iron upon our neck? Did that not happen to us? Huh? Yeah, that happened to us. Read. Until he have destroyed thee. Now, you know how you destroyed? When he took those irons off your neck. So when he took those irons off your neck, you were like, I'm good right here in America. This is my homeland. I ain't got, my name ain't Kuta no more. It's Toby. When you stop trying to run and free yourself, you was comfortable being a slave. You was comfortable going to the white man for the one of all things. You was comfortable being his victim. And we're still his victim today. You know how we still his victim? Because we still following everything that he said. That's just an example of one of the curses that we would have to go to them and one of all things. Do you think this right here? Do you think this is in the Bible, sis? Us, us only slave ship. You think that's in? You don't think that's in there? I say, do you think it's in the Bible? It's not in there. Have you ever heard it read in the Bible? Well, the Egyptians used to rule the earth. The Ethiopians used to rule the earth. That's what I'm saying. But what I'm saying, they didn't reduce you to rulership. <laughs> they didn't reduce you. And the Egyptians never went on slave ships. Ethiopians ain't never went on slave ships. So do you think do you think that's in the Bible? Think about it. All these churches, have you ever heard that in the churches? Sisters? Never heard that. Wouldn't you think that would be something important to tell the black man and woman right. that he's actually in the Bible? Right. That his history is in the Bible? And remember, this is, these are prophecies of God. He said these prophecies, you have to go to your enemies in the one of all things. Right. Did that happen? I mean, did we not have to go to our enemies now for the one of all things? Oh, yeah. So, that, so the, that prophecy came true. This ain't a made up story. We know that prophecy came true. How about some more prophecies? Give me verse 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. He said the Lord said he was going to bring them into Egypt, right? Again. He said he was going to bring us back into Egypt again. Remember Moses took us out of Egypt, right? Okay. Did we ever go back into Egypt in the Bible as a nation? No, we never went back into Egypt. So what does the word Egypt actually mean? Give me that Exodus. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of what? Of bondage. So what does the word Egypt mean? Bondage. Bondage. Let man know that. You understand? He said, I'm going to bring you back into Egypt again or back into bondage again. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With ships. I'm going to bring us back into slavery with what? With ships. Did that happen? Is that not us? Yeah, us. That was a prophecy. Is that prophecy now fact? That's our history now. You understand? Look what he said was going to happen. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Uh-huh. Thou shalt see it no more again. He said we wouldn't see our homeland again. Have we been delivered out of uh, America? Out of our, all the places that we were scattered in captivity? Oh, we still there. We still there. Read. And there, and there, once you got out those slave ships, ye shall be sold. It'll be what? Shall be sold. Wow, look at that image right there. They recorded us being sold. They know your history. We were sold, what? Unto your enemies. What is God calling the white man? Your friend or your enemy? Your enemy, because your friend don't do this. Your friend don't put you in slave ships packed like sardines. Your, your, hey, they don't work you from sun up to sun down. They're your enemies. Really? Watch this. We the only people that can endure this. That's what I'm yeah, so we, hey, so, but guess what? This is a punishment, right? From God. He said this is a curse for being what? Disobedient. Right. This is our, this is our punishment for being disobedient. Can we blame the white man? If the Most High did it, he just used them as the belt. He right. can't be mad at the belt. Right. 
we the one to blame. Right. We're, we're to blame for what? Breaking God's commandments. That's why I right. said from, from the beginning, we was like, what, what can I identify as? I can't, it's hard for me personally to identify with anything because I see the power in all of it. You uh, know what I'm saying? As bad as but it is. Can you identify with you being an Israelite? For sure. Oh, but I'm saying, okay. I don't, I still don't identify with any one thing because there's rules and regulations and ways that people want you to live their life. When we're ready as a people, I'll Watch be on the front line. Watch this. Let me ask you something. Do you think this happened? Yeah. Right, right. Now, let me ask you something. So, so watch this. Did God give you a choice? Not then. No. He said, keep my commandments or face this. That's what he, that was the punishment. So you don't got a free will. We, we as black people, we got that from the white man. White man convinced you that you got free will. Do as you want to. Live as you want to. If you want to be gay, you can be gay. You yes, want you want to wear you, you want to wear rock rock your hair blonde look like me look like me be as you want to be that's what the white man encouraged you he encouraged you to be wicked I don't give them that much power you well know, guess what that's how much power they got matter of fact let me show you how much power they got on this earth I'm gonna show you how much power they got give me uh, Job ninety twenty four remember they got so much power that they enslaved us over four hundred years ago and we're still in slavery right now. Respect. Watch this. Am I wrong? They have zero power. Watch What's your last name? Paul. They still got your last name. You still got their last name. That's how much power they got. You ain't even got power enough to change your name and say, I'm going I'm to drop the white man's slave name that he Until gave you. Until he take this up out of me, I got everything. Oh, no, no. No, but you still got their last name. You got the power to change that, but they mentally still got you. That's right. Job chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So the wicked is, who, who's ruling the earth right now? Jews. All right, what, what color are they? What color are they? Uh, like a, they white. white yeah. They white. They the same damn white man that's walking around right now. They, they, they still white people. They don't get it twisted. They rule the earth, right? And let me, let me show you how much power they got. Are you serving their God? Are you worshiping them as a God? Huh? Yeah, you gotta go to work. No, I'm go saying, work. are you worshiping them as a God on this earth right now? Not even the football player. No. I'm asking you, are you doing it? <laughs> Watch this. I'm gonna show you that you is. Watch this. <laughs> he covereth the faces of the judges thereof. He said he covered the faces of the judges thereof. You know who's supposed to be the judges of the earth? These people right here. That's supposed to be us. We the real judges. You know, we were the people that supposed to be ruling the earth. Now they don't portray the whole earth, uh, people in the Bible as being what white. Read. If not, where and who is he? He said, if the white man ain't the wicked, that's covering the faces of the judges. He said, who is he then? Who's doing it? If it ain't the white man? Let me ask you something. Let me ask the kids something. Hey, let me ask you. Hey, sweetie, let me ask you something. Who is this? That's God. Oh, Who's that little man? He said, that's Jesus. Wow. See that moon? Let me ask you something, mom. Is that Jesus? Why do you think your kids think that's Jesus? Because that's what they were taught. Right. My mom didn't teach him better. <laughs> My mom didn't teach him better. Watch this. I'm going to show y'all that that's not Jesus. I'm going to show you that that's not God. Matter of fact, if you can read, that says what? The image of the beast. That's right. They represent the beast in the Bible. Yes. They represent the wickedness in the Bible. They got you praying to the beast. Somebody that's evil. That's right. So let's prove that first and foremost that that's not, uh, that's not Christ. That's not the Christ of this Bible. That's not the Jesus of this Bible. That's the white man's Jesus. That's the image that he gave you so you can worship him as a God. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it out. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So the revelation of Jesus Christ. As a matter of fact, I'm going to read down to verse 3. And I want you to peep this verse out, sis. Because I love when a sister is humble, ready to learn. You know what I'm saying? Because my brother was kind of proud. He was, that, that was a proud spirit. Watch what happened. I want you to see how, how he missed out on this sweet blessing. Which God gave unto him to shew unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bear record. So he bear record what? Of the word of God. Uh -huh. 
and of the testimony of Jesus Christ. They bear record of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. You know, think about that for a second. Wouldn't you love just to hear God talk to you? Wouldn't you love to hear Christ talk to you? You know how special they have to be to get that privilege? It had to be a great responsibility. God said, I want you to write this down. Bear record of it. Because he wanted it for us. Watch it. And of all things that he saw. He said, I want you to write everything that you saw. Because the scripture said, remember, you should know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. Our people never look to find out what the truth is. Hey, we never even imagined that we're still in slavery. This brother came to the couldn't accept the fact that he's in bondage. He, wanna, he still want to have power. Hey, but we're in bondage. We got to still go to the white man for the one of all things. You know what I'm saying? Right now, the black man ain't got no power. And the bottom line is, we damn sure can't do it by ourselves. We got to come together. You know how we always say we got to come together as a people? We are so jealous of each other. We want to compete against each other. Right. We want to compete against each other. You know what we like to do? We like to battle each other with knowledge. Hey, I'm going to tell you straight up, I don't got no knowledge. I'm about as illiterate as we want to be. You better know what I do know how to do? I do know how to read and interpret scripture. I do know how to show wisdom by believing in God and following the things that he said. That's what gives me my wisdom. I don't lean to my own understanding. I'm going to believe in the word of God. Because his word showed me that he ain't lying. He meant what he said. Right. You understand? That's a fact. That's, that's prophecy. Watch it. I want you to hear this last part right here. Watch this. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy. God said, blessed is he that readeth and blessed is he that heareth the word of this prophecy. Think about that. So you're blessed now to hear it. Nobody taught you this thing. Nobody showed you what Christ really looked like. Was this a lie or is this the truth? Because right now this image is circulating throughout the whole earth and our people are worshiping this man as if he's Christ himself, as if he's God himself. But this is actually a real man named Cesare Borgia that was the boyfriend of Leonardo da Vinci. Right. A homosexual. That's right. That was a murderer. That's who he's worshiping right now today as Jesus Christ. We are worshiping that image in, this, in all our homes. We got it tattooed on our arms. We got it hanging around our neck. And we sit there praying to him every single day and, and not realize that our prayers are fell, falling on deaf ears. And we're still in the same condition that we were when we got here on the bottom. Baby said, it's God. Right. Watch this. Let's find out the true image of Christ. Hey, that's the Jump to verse thing, 14. That's the first part of this I haven't heard. Yeah. Right. 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 Watch this. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Hey, little man. Little man. I'm going to show you. Watch this. Come here, little man. Hey, you, 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 you. Little man. Look at here. Check this out. Stop running around so your mama can stop chasing you. You understand that? Your mama right there, stand your butt still. There's too many cars going around here. She ain't got time to be chasing you. See, that's what happened with men getting out. God is asking us men to step up and take control of our families and our children. And we need more strong black men in the household following the word of God so we can get our children in order and stop letting these white men put these lies and doctrines in their head. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Because these lies is what got our boys running around being gangbanging right now. These lies is what got our sons being homosexual and feminine right now. Well, hey, these lies is what got our daughters dressing like hoes right now. That's right. This is the biggest lie on earth. This is what's done created. The Christian is the worst thing that ever happened to the black man on this earth. Being a Christian. Right. Because a Christian have taught us to be nothing but wicked on this earth. Because they haven't taught us God's laws. They got us worshiping the white man as God. The same people that oppressed us, killed us, raped us, murderers. We are now praying to him as a God. You understand? And now our children are following their ways. That's why it's so hard for us to deal with them. Finish that. His head and his hairs were white like wool. It said the hair on his head and the hair on his face was woolly in texture. That's wool texture, like mine right here. He said his hair was white and his beard was white. You understand? And woolly. Does he got white hair? He ain't got white hair, do he, baby? He ain't got no white hair. His hair brown, stringy. He ain't got that good hair like you. You got that woolly hair. 
That's right. You understand? You That's got that right. woolly hair. Your brother's got that woolly hair. That's he ain't right. got that woolly hair. He got stringy hair like a dog. He That's like a right. wet dog. Bring it out. He ain't got that beautiful hair like you got. Watch this. We're gonna show you what else he keeps what he look like. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Meaning the whites of his eyes was red because what was Christ's first miracle, you know? He turned water to what? Oh, um, he turned water to wine. Wine, that's right. Hey, he had that good wine. So Christ liked to drink wine. So, yeah. you know, when we drink a little bit, our, the whites of our eyes turn red. That's right. So that's why his eyes were red. Read. Okay. Verse 15. And his feet. And his feet. So I can look at y'all feet, right? right? Same color as the rest of your body. Right. Let's right. see what color was his feet. Like unto fine brass. He said like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brown. Brass is brown. Right. So he said, so he's a brown man, but let's see how brown he was. As if they burned in a furnace. He said he was so brown, it looked like he was burnt in a furnace. So what color is that? Say he was blankety black. He was blankety black. And think about this right here. These lies is perpetrating every single church. Every single church. That's right. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community.